Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we will be looking at how you can make a lot of your manual devices smart using this SwitchBot port. Now this is a Bluetooth device and we will connect it to Home Assistant using a Bluetooth proxy. So first we will create a Bluetooth proxy, connect it to Home Assistant and then finally we will look at the various operating modes that this bot provides. We will configure this various operating modes and then see how this thing works inside Home Assistant. So with this, let's get started. So I have this switch board here with me. So this is the switch board that I have and I have my ESP32 also here. So first what we are going to do is we are going to create our ESP32 Bluetooth proxy. So for this, we will go to this ESP home projects. I will provide this link into the article that I will link into the description below. So once you go here, you have to select Bluetooth proxy here. And then afterwards, you're going to select generic ESP32. And you have to connect this ESP32 now to your computer using your USB. So once you do that, click on connect. And then you have to select this option here. So this is how it is now connected to my laptop right now. So I'm going to click on connect and with this, I'm going to say install Bluetooth proxy. So right now it's saying it will erase all the data. So I'm going to say install. So in case if right now it does not go into this erasing phase, what you would have to do is you would have to press the boot button and hold it while it goes into this erasing phase. If it's already started in the erasing phase, then then it's already working and it's going to install the binary required for creating the Bluetooth proxy right now. So let this now completes its installation. So with this, now our Bluetooth proxy is ready. Now we have to do is integrate this with Home Assistant. So let's click on next. And here we will have to provide our Wi-Fi credentials such that it connects to your Wi-Fi network. So let me enter that right now. So I have put in my Wi-Fi credentials now and I'm going to click on connect. So now this will actually try and connect to your Wi-Fi network. So now it has connected to my Wi-Fi network. Let's actually add it to Home Assistant. So let me click on this and this will direct me to my Home Assistant. So now here I'm going to click on OK. Now here what you have to do is you have to provide the IP address with which it has connected to your Wi-Fi network. Now to find the IP address, you can check it out in your router wherein it will show you like a Bluetooth proxy host name and then you will have to get the IP address of that host. So I know my IP address, so I'm going to put this thing here right now and I'm going to click on submit. So once this has been configured, you can see here there's like a Bluetooth proxy that is now like a device connected to our home assistant. So let me click on finish right now and let's go to ESP home. And as you can see, we have this Bluetooth proxy here. So the Bluetooth proxy is right now available in home assistant. And now what we are going to do is we are going to connect our switch bot bot. So for this, what we have here is the switch bot itself, right? Let's go back out now. And here what I'm going to do is it should automatically actually detect it over here that it is present, but it is right now not. So one way that you can do is you can open this panel from here. And inside this, there is this reset button. So what you can do is go ahead and press this reset button. So let me do that right now. And then this light turns on telling you that it is now reset. So let me keep this down now. And what we're going to do is try and refresh again and see if it gets detected. If not, we have this integration here. So let's click on add integration and I'm going to search for switch board. So once you do that, select the switch board Bluetooth option and here it will actually find the bot. So right now it has found the bot for me. So do you want to set up this bot, this number and I'm going to say submit. Now in your case, if it does not get detected, just wait a little bit of time press the reset button and then try again. It will definitely get the device. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on finish here and then go down to this switch port Bluetooth and here is the device right now. So let's see how actually this device works. So I'm going to click on this and let's see what happens. So if you see here, the arm has now opened up and it has retracted back again. Let me try with the other option here. So the arm works. So that means the integration is right now working with the Bluetooth proxy and it is now connected to Home Assistant itself. 
So right now the SwitchBot is configured with Home Assistant, but it is working with this default mode that is the press mode. Now the SwitchBot bot has quite some modes like the press mode, the switch mode, and you can also have a custom mode also. So let's see how we can change the mode for this. Now in case of the default press mode that it has, that is it pushes the arm down and then retracts it back again. So that's what it did right now. It actually put out the arm and then brought it back again. Now in case of the switch mode, it will put out the arm and then make it wait over there. So to change it to this mode, what we need is we will need the SwitchBot app. Now there is no way to configure this in Home Assistant directly, but you will need the SwitchBot app. So I have this SwitchBot app installed right now and let me open this. So it will ask me for Bluetooth and location permissions now. I'm going to allow this and turn on the Bluetooth. So this has started the Bluetooth for me, but I have to turn on the locations also. So now with this, it will automatically discover the device. So you just have to wait for some time. Make sure your location as well as your Bluetooth both are on and it will start detecting this device. So let's wait for it to get discovered. The main thing is that you don't even have to sign into this app. You just need the app for it to get discovered and then use the SwitchBot bot. So let's wait for it to get discovered. So it looks like it has not discovered it yet. Let's close the app again and open it up. And if you see it now discovered the bot. So let me try this out. So let me press on this and the bot works from there. Similarly, it also works from home assistant also. So if I press it from home assistant, the bot is working from home assistant also. So you don't have to like disconnect the device from home assistant and connect it. You just have to make sure that your Bluetooth and your location and your Wi-Fi, all the three options are on. Now let's go inside this and here in the settings, you have this mode option here. And in this mode, if you click on this, you have this various three modes. So here we have the press mode, which is the default mode it comes with. Then you have the switch mode and then we have the custom mode. So let's switch it to the switch mode and see what happens. So I'm going to select that and click on OK. So if you see right now, let me show you what it does. So if I go back in my app, and press on this button here. It actually pressed it and waited over there. So the arm is still retracted out. It's not come back inside. So it is kept out. And now if you see in Home Assistant, this option actually changed from those two lightning buttons to a single switch here. So now let me also try this from Home Assistant. So let me click on this. It should now retract the arm. So the arm is right now retracted and if I put it on, it actually shows a press option. Now, in what case would this be very useful? So let me show you something like this. So I have like this plug with me. I don't have any other switch with which I can show you this option. So you have like this switch wherein you can turn it on like this and then turn it off. So this would actually work in such cases. So now SwitchBot provides a small little adapter which has this like a string around it and this is something that you have to stick it to the switch itself so let me actually do this right now so let me peel this out and i'm going to now put it on this switch here okay so this will actually pull the switch and put it off also so let me now attach this string to the switch port itself so there is like a small groove over here with which i will attach it to the switch port so let me do that right now so now I have attached the adapter to the switch bot and I have closed the switch bot top panel also. Now let me hold this on top of the switch here because I have no place right now to stick this. So I'm going to hold this for now and show it to you how this thing works. So I'm going to hold this this way and let's try to turn it off first. So it will actually retract the arm and now let's try to turn it on. So let's push this and if you can see it turned on the switch. Let's try pulling it back again. So let me turn it off and it actually pulled the button for me. So this is the switch mode that I was talking about. It puts out the arm to press the button and then it pulls back the arm to pull the button itself. So with this, we just saw how we can change the mode to a switch mode. We can also change this back. So let me go to the app back again. And in the app right now, you can go back to the settings here and then in settings, go to mode 
and then you can change this to the press mode back again so let me change this back again so in home assistant it will take a little bit of time for it to switch back to the press mode back again so right now it is still in the switch mode so right now it switched back to the press mode it took a little bit of time like a minute or two for it to switch back and now we have this button here so we discovered two things we discovered the press mode we saw the switch mode and now let's look at the custom mode so now in case of custom options what do we have here so let me move to this custom mode and here now we have this various options now in the custom mode you can change how many times the arm retracts or how many times the arm can press a button or not for example you could have a situation wherein you want the arm to press something then again press it twice or thrice and retract it back again so let's try doing this so once i go into this action combo on here in this i'm going to edit the first default step that we have so let me edit this and here i have this press and hold time so let me change this to something like maybe two seconds so let me change this to two seconds and then we have the press interval and the number of repeat cycles so now what here i'm trying to do is it will put out the arm press it for two seconds and then bring back the arm again now this i want to repeat it only one time so that's what the repeat time is kept as one and the press interval is set to one second this is in the case if you set the repeat times to two then the action will happen after one second but right now the repeat time is just one so let's try this out so i'm going to click on ok and i'm going to click on save and here i'm going to now go back here and click on test action it waited for two seconds and it went back inside so this is the thing that i was talking about now you can add multiple steps here but right now I'm just going to show you with the single step here. You can configure it as you want. Now let's try the other option. So let me see that I want to repeat this twice and I'm going to keep an interval of say maybe four seconds. Okay. So what I'm trying to do here is press and hold it for two seconds, then retract it and try it out again after four seconds. So let me click on OK and let's test this option now. so it's now waiting for two seconds it pulled the arm back it again now pressed for two seconds and it pulled the arm back so this is the custom mode that you can have so with this you can set custom patterns that you want to press certain buttons and with this you can also use this in home assistant so now i have saved the action and this action gets saved into the switchboard itself so once you have set the mode you can even delete this app you don't need the app anymore to control the switchboard you can connect it with home assistant and control it via home assistant itself so let's try this from home assistant remember like there were these two options here so in home assistant you have this off option and when we have this on option right so this is in conjunction with this on and off combo options that we have so we have configured right now the on option with this two times mechanism wherein it will hold for two seconds and it will repeat it for the second time after four seconds so let me come out first of all from this settings here the settings are already saved onto the bot so you don't need this app anymore and let me try this out it's holding for two seconds and now it will repeat after four seconds it's holding again for two seconds and there we have it so right now this mode is now working with home assistant so with this we just saw how we can have this custom mode and you no longer require the app to control the switchboard you just need this app to change the modes and then you can control this switchboard using home assistant itself so we just saw how you can make a lot of your manual devices smart using this switchboard board now i keep on making videos around how you can make things smart at home so if you want to support this channel there are links into the description below wherein you can just buy me a coffee or support me via patreon now if you like this video make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come till then take care and i will see you in my next one